Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share a book with you guys that seems like a really fun book that I will be using in my homeschool library for a very long time. It's called Giant Science Resource Book. It's by Evan Moore. And the cool thing about it, it is grades one through six. So you can use this elementary all the way up to the lower middle school years, which I love. I love that it's very versatile and that you could use it for younger kids and for older kids. So this is a good book to have for a family that has lots of multiple ages and grades. I have two kids, so I have a preschooler this year and a first grader. So during the summer, we'll be using it. And then for next year, it'll be perfect for my kindergartner and for my second grader. So I am going to share with you guys some of the ideas that I have and how I'm going to use this in our homeschool. I always like to give you some ideas because um, flip throughs, you know, you can look through and see what it looks like, but I like to kind of show you guys how I will be using it. In the inside is the table of contents and it talks a lot about life science. As you can see, there's a big section on that. Environmental science, earth science, physical science, and they also talk about space science. A lot of the pages in these books are diagrams. They have some graphic organizers in the back, some informational pages, well, a lot of informational pages, picture pages, and then activities. So this is so fun, guys. I like books that have everything in it. And I didn't say this, but it is 300 pages long. So they're black and white. You can make copies of them. The cool thing I like about this is that you don't have to go online and search for the theme that you're trying to look for and then print them out. All you have to do is like flip through this book real fast and find it and make a copy. So all of these life science, they have um, plants and birds and fish. You will see at the top of each corner, it'll be labeled plants or it will be labeled fish. So it's very easy to like kind of skim through and then like find what you're trying to look for. So I will do a quick flip through for you guys, tell you guys how I will be using it in our homeschool and try to go through it quickly because it is very big. It is a big giant science resource book. So first they're starting off with the plants and they talk about trees, flowers, and vines and roots. So from the roots up, um, they also have a little science project here kind of sharing how the stem works and they have a little paragraph talking about it, different kinds of stems. They have an informational page and talking about the shapes. They have just all of these different leaves over here. So for instance, I might tell the kids to sketch one of these or we might trace one of these or we might go outside and find a leaf and match one of them. You could also make a copy of this page and you can have the kids watercolor them. If they're older, they can make their own watercolor or they can sketch it or even draw it on the chalkboard. So there's a lot of ways to incorporate like a workbook style with the way you do your homeschool. So here they talk about photosynthesis. This is a coloring page. They talk about the parts of the seeds and then the kids get to practice some new vocabulary and they write in and label the parts of the seeds. They can color the seeds. So this would be good for a younger age student and then this would be good for like a first or second grader or um, an, a middle schooler to label the part of the seeds. On this side, they talk about how seeds travel, uh, parts of the plants, parts of the trees, bulbs, plants that we eat. So I want to do a plant uh, unit study with my kids. My daughter has been asking for me to do that, and I might do that in the summer. So I'll let you guys know if I do it. I'll share with you guys how I'm going to do it. Um, so there's lots and lots of um, ways that they've made this fun for the kids. They have the cut and paste and putting into order for a tomato, an apple tree. You can use this for the fall, um, and you can use the pumpkin life cycle for the fall. And these are just really fun little pages of just some good information that um, are very simple and quick to read to the kids. And like I said, you can make duplicates of these things for your kids. There's these beautiful picture cards. You can cut one each day and have them draw one, or they can actually color it and you can laminate it or you could just keep it in the book and just talk about each type of flower. So it doesn't have to be too much work but if you want it to be fun um, you could always have them color one a day and then at the end of the year they'll have all their flashcards which will be really neat. So they're going to be talking about insects and um, labeling the insects and they have a little word box for you to do so you can make a copy of that. You can study ant hills go on YouTube and do that. Um, find a really fun little book like this um, by Scholastic or any fun picture book to go along with these 
butterfly life cycle. I have a a little cute like um, two page spread in here um, that talk about butterflies. So where is it? Let's see. From caterpillar to butterfly. So I might display this outside um, in our little homeschool area. So when they come downstairs to do our unit study, um, we can do the cut and paste here. And then I have a butterfly garden um, growing kit that I want to do. So it's cool to have everything set up for me. I just have to make copies of it and they could um, label them and everything like that. So they talk about butterflies and the differences between them and moths. And they have also the cards. So these are just lots of land and ocean, scallops and oysters and everything like that, anthropods, amphibians. So you can see they have lots of cards, lots of cut and paste, and then they have just a lot of information that is just really simple and good. And I like the black and white because, um, for instance, the kids can, can talk about a bird. You can read books about birds. You can study them outside. They show you, like, the skeleton of a bird talking about feathers. There's so many things that you can do along with this book. I like how they have little activities where they have the little date and the time and what you saw outside when they're bird watching. My neighbor just put out a bird, um, a bird feeder. So it'll be fun to kind of do this little activity and you could put in your science notebook. Here's another diagram of what's inside of an egg. And then there's like a little writing form and you cut this out and you can put your name, the title, and then you paste it on a writing paper. So there's lots of fun little ideas, lots of cycles, uh, talking about fish and mammals. I'm going to try to go through this quickly, but I just want to show you it's beautiful because it's black and white. So it's very simple. So if your kids want to look at it and draw something on a chalkboard or like I said, do a watercolor painting or they just want to sketch it out. It's a lot easier to sketch out, I think, when you're looking at something black and white, for instance. Um, there's so many things that you can do with this book. My kids are going to love the wolf cycle. They love wolf dogs. Uh, they call them wolf dogs. <laughs> I know they're not called wolf dogs, but they're going to love this because that would be a fun little thing to do. Um, and these are all the wild dogs. They have from my farm, or from the farm to my house, so they have color cut and paste in order on another piece of paper here. And then they have dinosaur life cycles and animal cards here. So for any of those kids that are enthusiast about dinosaurs and you wanna do a unit study on this, they have like lots of little um, pictures here for them to, to look at and lots of information about dinosaurs on here. All right, so they go into the five senses, they go into the human body, and there's lots of um, diagrams where they can see the actual insides of the ears and inside of the eyes. And I have lots of books to go along with some of these workbook pages. So when I create my unit studies, I get um, the resources that I have at my home and I go to my local library and I pick and choose some of the books that I think my kids would be interested in. These are like the Lift the Flap books, and I will link it down below. I have it in my first grade curriculum um, choices video. And then I have Looking Into My Body. This is like a Reader's Digest book. I don't know if they still have this, but I found this at a thrift store. So this would be a good thing to pair up with this book, where it talks about more of the details and gives you more information in this workbook. Um, like you, like I said, you can flip it open and just read it to your kids, and then you can make copies of some of these. So they're talking about the outer body, the skeletal system, the muscular system. This is definitely um, something that is on my first grader's level. When she goes into second grade, it'll be great, and then my son will love it because he really is interested in um, the body, the human body. This is the body puzzle that they have, which I thought was so cool, the human body. So they get to put this together and then they might be able to trace their own body, which would be fun. I remember doing when I was little, they have the skeleton and they have the organs in the inside. So the lungs and the brain, super fun. And so that was it for the human body. Um, they also have the environmental science with habitats and endangered species and recycling. So we're studying ancient um, civilization for the past year or so, and we'll probably be studying it in the summer as well. Um, so the things that we study and the places we study about, we'll be able to, you know, use some of these and maybe talk about these when we're listening to some of the Story of the World books. Here is Earth Science. This so one this gives a little bit 
more details on some of the landforms and it gives some facts over here. And then physical science, they talk about magnets and electricity, lights and sound and simple machines. So this is just like the whole entire book. It's 300 pages long. So I think that this is a great way to start. It's a good foundation to have if you're a new homeschooler or even if you are a homeschooler that has lots of kids with multiple ages. This is a great book because it is grades one through six. And so you can use all of these um, activities and sheets for your kids level and make it work for the whole entire family. So I hope you guys enjoy this little flip through and got some ideas while I was talking through it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am an Evan Moore affiliate so I did partner up with them because they are such a good company. I've had a lot of Evan Moore in the past when I first started homeschooling. I still do. Um, so this is one of them I wanted to pick out and share with you guys. They wanted me to pick one out and I thought that this was really good because we are doing a lot of science unit studies lately and this is just a good resource to have. Like I said, it it saves so much time. You don't have to search online to try to find these uh, PDFs because they're already here and you have 300 pages to use of them. So they have lots of other um, science books that have a way more details in the specific like subjects like exploring space and animals, simple machines, plants, my body, and the earth. And then they have grades four through six. They have chemistry and living things, human bodies, and planet earth. So they have lots of workbooks. Evermore is just a well-known company that has been out for several years like I feel like they've been out for a long long time even when I was a kid I think in the 80s um, but they just have great books for teachers or for homeschool moms like us or for parents that want to do something really fun during the summertime I think that these are really good resources so if you guys have any questions let me know I will link all of the Evan Moore books that I did a flip through on down below so if you want to check out any other ones I will be having more Evan Moore reviews in the future so I hope you guys enjoy them give me a thumbs up let me know if you like them and I will see you guys in my next video bye